<laughs> hey everybody, I just wanted to hop on here. I'm gonna wait just a second before I actually start talking and saying um, a whole lot or I'm rambling because you know how I am. Let's see if that'll set that up. Okay, so right now, <clears throat> um, today so far, it is 10 o'clock. was after 10, it's like 10.41. And I have not had breakfast yet, so basically I had um, two scoops of Energize this morning to get me up and going, um, which is basically my liquid sunshine. Hey, Courtney, which I love. Um, and so I actually, um, yeah, so I had that, and I had that with um, my Ovisitol and that kind of thing. So if you're with PCOS, you may be familiar with that. Hey, Karen. So anyways, hey, Rhonda. So right now I am making my breakfast, and actually this will probably be one and a half to two meals. I don't usually eat all of this in one sitting, um, but I'm making some eggs, and then um, I'm making some sausage. These are, um, I, I do love bacon, but I've actually, this is something that's been easy for me that um, I, I've been doing recently. Um, I eat these almost daily. It's these fully cooked sausage um, patties, and they, um, each one, has five grams of protein and one carb. So if you are cop, uh, carb conscious, it um, this is a great option from Costco. Um, hey Courtney. So it does say it has sugar in the ingredients, but it doesn't say it on the nutrition facts. So I'll hold it up so you can see. Hopefully it won't melt because it's above my um, my skillet here. Um, but yeah, it has pork, water, salt, spices, and sugar. No nitrates, no MSG, no preservatives. Um, so no added hormones. So it is definitely a healthier option, gluten-free. Um, and like I said, it has one carb per patty with five grams of protein. So if I eat two of those, it's 10 grams of protein with two carbs, I think that's pretty good. Um, so I've got two of those on here, um, and I'll show you my skillet here in a second. Then I'm gonna do some eggs. Um, so it really depends on what else I'm eating with it, um, with how many eggs I choose to do. Um, my cooking area is a mess. Hey, Kristen. So, um, when I show you, be forgiving. I have some grace because the weekend is crazy. We didn't get caught up on cleaning or anything. And we have screaming kids in the background, so just ignore. Um, so I've got two eggs. I'm going to put just a tiny bit of salt and pepper. All right, so it's kind of moving around. Let me show you all. Hey, Amber. So let me show you what I've got going on here. Now, one of the tips that I recommend is um, cooking extra, guys. So like I said, um, oh, sorry, hope no one fell. So um, cook extra. So cook for two meals at one time. And then if you can store it for later, do that because it really helps out, you know, Plan ahead, because if you fail to plan, you're planning to fail, all right? Um, good morning, Amber. So let me set, see if I can set that up again. Okay. So this is what I'm having, and like I said, this will be like a meal and a half, like a snack. Um, I love this griddle too, and I actually have all stainless steel um, a, a pots and pans, but I still use this for like pancakes and that sort of thing. A new product that I have been trying out, um, let me grab it. And I, um, it's, it's a healthier alternative to wheat products, um, and bread. And like, for those who don't know, oh, <laughs> for those who don't know, I am mostly grain free. So this has been one way that I've been introducing grains back into my meal plan. Um, because I sometimes do want that bread sensation or filling and it's called carb quick. Now. This is made uh, out of carbulose, which is a enzyme-enriched wheat, vital wheat gluten, wheat fiber, high-protein patent wheat flour, soy fiber, canola oil, salt, emulsifiers, enzymes, absorbic acid. So if you're wanting a clean option, this is not going to probably be very clean. This is cleanish, um, but then again, most breads are not clean unless you get sprouted grain, right? But if you're wanting something that is um, lower carb, um, that um, has no sugar in it, this is a great option. Hey Susie, this has two net carbs per um, um, per serving, 
and six grams of protein. So there is a ton, there's uh, lots of dietary fiber. Let me see if you all can see that. So I would look this up. I got this off of nutrition.com. It's called Carb Quick. And um, so far I've made several things. Um, one of the things I'm gonna be using today is um, these little pancakes that I made. I, I make them in bulk for prepping. Um, and so I make them a bunch at once. So usually at the bit, I think Friday or Saturday, I made like um, three batches of this. And so basically I, um, they've got a little bit of syrup in there. Um, like a sugar free, not sugar free, yeah. it's um, Walden Farms. I'll have to look up which one exactly. Yeah. But basically I add this with the sausage and the egg and I'm gonna show you a little bit. Sometimes cheese Mama on top if I wanna be a little crazy. You want an egg? Mommy will make you egg, okay? Can you wait just a minute? Okay. I have a request for an egg. Um, so I put those together. It's almost like a McGriddle, guys. Like, it's pretty awesome. And it's, like, no sugar, which is my, my goal. And, you know, if you're insulin resistant, if you're diabetic, you've got to really watch your, your sugar intake. Um, but also, I want to make sure that it's not completely, like, crazy awful, right? Um, so, yeah. But this, this actually tastes pretty good. Um, there have been some recipes. You can look up recipes. There's recipes on the box, but you can also look up recipes online. So apparently the one for the cheddar biscuits here, hold on just a second, honey, for the cheddar biscuits here that are like the red lobster ones are supposedly amazing. I have not made them yet, but um, every, one, every review online that I've seen, I'm trying to, my eggs are together, I have given phenomenal reviews on them. Um, I've done like the the basic biscuits as well, and they're really good. It's a nice like because I don't eat biscuits, um, so it's definitely when I've got that craving, it's nice. Um, do I eat this every day? Probably not, um, but it's a nice treat to have on hand when I'm really wanting something, and I'm not going to completely eat something else that's this bad. Oh, and I have someone in the pantry getting into sugar. I mean, we're not eating those, okay? Okay, close the pantry door, please. Thank you. Mm -hmm. All right, so she's going, mm, after she has like marshmallow ice in her mouth. Do I eat sausage for breakfast? Um, I do a lot. Um, mm -hmm. One of the things I've been eating almost daily is basically the egg, the sausage with the the little pancake, little things that I made. Mama, um, I'm because it's almost like a McGriddle and Mama, sometimes I'll throw cake. some cheddar cheese on there. You want a pancake, honey? Mommy doesn't have pancakes, but I'll make you an egg. You want, you want an egg? Okay. Mommy will make you an egg, okay? Sorry. Um, gotta make egg for the baby. Egg, 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 egg she says. Um, eggy, eggy. Okay, can you go get Mommy a plate or a bowl to put the egg in? Um, so, extra tip for meal prepping. So, every time I go to like Walmart or Kroger, Walmart's been my place to find them, but I know you can find them at Kroger and I know you can find them at Costco. But the, the best deal I have found um, Mama, is at Walmart. Mama. I always check the refrigerated section for these discount. Hold on, the stickers. Oh, I ripped the stickers off. Basically, these discounted rotisserie chickens that are already cooked. Now, usually you can buy these full price hot and ready, um, and they're normally mommy, like five dollars, six dollars. Mommy, I can find both. Okay, mommy will get it in just a minute, please. Can mommy have just a minute? Yeah. Okay. You can usually get these for five or six bucks, but if you get them like the day after, um, and they're like in the refrigerated section, you can get them half off. Um, with the sausages, uh, you have to be careful and look at the ingredients. This is a sausage that I use. I'll show that again. Um, I got it at Costco. Somebody's playing with my feet. This is the sausage that I use. And it has no um, preservatives, no nitrates, no M MSGs, no preservatives, blah, blah, blah. Um, so it is a cleaner alternative. There's nothing, and there, there's Mom, pork, water, salt, spices, up. and sugar. So there's nothing like crazy bad about these. And I got these at Costco. And there's the um, nutrition facts for the. Ow! Ow, honey, that really hurt. 
You do not touch that. That really hurt mommy. Please don't do that. Ow. Please give mommy some space. Okay. That really hurt. I want Mommy's cooking an egg, but you need to be patient. Sorry, I'm about to lose it. <laughs> Go play with a toy or something or until mommy's done with her your egg. It's cooking. Please give mommy some space right now. Do not touch me, okay? okay. Thank you. I thank you. I thank you. Huh? I thank you. Okay. <sighs> breathe, Robin, breathe. Sorry. <laughs> this is momming like at its finest. So I highly recommend a sausage. It's great. And they may even have. I just told you not to touch me. Please go in the other room. She was like, there's like this little melon thing that she was using. And she was like actually like trying to dig like my skin out, like my meat out of my body. It hurts. So, yes, this I highly recommend. And then um, from Costco. And then the Carb Quick um, is something new that I've started to try. Um, I, I recommend it if you're definitely being carb conscious. If you're into a cleanish lifestyle, um, if you're totally clean, I wouldn't recommend that. Um... But yeah, so the for meal prepping, these are amazing. So you cannot even buy raw chicken for this amount of price. Uh, like you just can't. So not only is it already cooked. Um, so basically, yesterday you can see where I kind of dug into it because I was hungry. Um, so what I'll do is today I'll take all the meat off the bones, put it in a Pyrex, and I already have the meat ready to go. So I can make a chicken salad out of it. I can just make chicken sandwiches. I can use whatever. I mean, to my heart's content. Um, oh gosh, Ashley, yes. There are sometimes I'm like, just, just back up, like back up. <laughs> and I love my kids, and I would do anything for them. But there are times I just I don't want to be touched, or I want to go to the bathroom in privacy. You know, in private. So these are some great options. I recommend. Um, hey Bianca, so I would recommend that you go and check your local Walmart or local grocery store um, to get these on clearance because you can't get this price, um, <clears throat> excuse me, raw and it's already cooked. So there's no excuse. Like this is like two fifty for this whole thing. So this will be like one to two meals maybe. And I end up getting two and they also have the lemon pepper. Okay. Give me just a minute. This child needs her. Yes, honey. Huh? You need to go potty? All right, we'll go potty then. You don't need to go potty? All right, we'll get you a spoon or a fork. Sorry. Do y'all have any questions about anything I've mentioned so far? Um, I really think that, you know, the key to being um, on point with your nutrition is to plan it out. If you don't plan, you're going to end up grabbing things that aren't the healthiest options. And here's the thing. Like, fast food doesn't have to be awful, okay? People, when they hear the word fast food, they think of McDonald's, Wendy's, Burger King. I also think about, hmm, apples, bananas, grapes. Like, those sorts of things on hand. Carrots. Like, those are fast food as well. Those don't take any time to prepare. You can grab it just as quick as anything else. And, um... Braylon, pick one, please. Thank you. Here. It's hot, so you need to blow on it, okay? So, those are things that are going to be easy and quick as well, and they're going to be healthy. So, let me grab a plate. And actually, I'm going to show you what I typically do. Now, like I said, I, this will be basically like a meal and a half to two meals for me. Um, let me grab some cheese. I'll show you what. Is that yummy? Yeah. I get a yummy for my egg, so at least I can cook a good egg. This is the cheese that I use. Costco. <laughs> Gotta love everything Costco. Hey, Maggie. So, I will sprinkle this on my eggs. Let me... I like to bust them to where they're cooked just mm. a little bit. Yummy, mommy. They're yummy. Oh, I'm so glad that you love them. So I've warmed up these ones that I've already made. Oh. So they're warmed up. 
Oh my gosh. And like the syrup in them smells so good. Mommy. I'll need to show you. Actually, I used the Mommy, last of my syrup. But, um. Mommy. What, honey? Mm. Oh, is that so yummy? So. Sorry. I'm hot mess right now. And spent 30 minutes throwing up. Why do you feel like you failed? <coughs> throwing up shake in my sink. Did you have to throw it away or were you vomiting? You have not failed, okay? Mommy, you, if high. anything, you fell forward. Failing is actually quitting. It's stopping, okay? Mommy, so, high. Okay, hold on, honey. You finish your egg and then you can say hi. You know, the thing is, it, quitting is not an option. Like, you can't quit quit on life, all right? So, like, you, you're going to have to continue living and making choices either to better yourself or to not better yourself. And so, if you're on a journey, if you want to be a better person every single day, like, the thing is, if you, you just can't quit. Quitting is not an option. Oh, you're determined to drink the shake? No, so, no, so, you have Shakeology. Are you not liking the recipe that you're making or is it making you upset? Like, what are your options? Okay. You don't have to use a spoon then. If, you, if it's upsetting your stomach, what I would do is do half a scoop at a time and build your way up to a full scoop because it does have the probiotics, the prebiotics, which will affect your digestive system. Okay, what recipe are you using? Um, Because if it's a flavor or something, there are tons of recipes on Pinterest that I can recommend. Um, so basically, <clears throat> while we're chatting, I'm going to assemble. So I've got my eggs. I'm going to throw this on there. Now this is a cleanish breakfast. <laughs> you all know I love cleanish meals, but um, because I want something that's lifelong, you know, life, you know, something I can sustain for life. Um, so I'm gonna put a little bit of cheese on there, and honestly, a lot of times I'll put my cheese on my skillet, but I got distracted by the little one. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of cheese, and a lot of the times, to be honest, I will, so I can portion control. Well, this, these are from my nuts and my seeds, but there's a, if y'all are familiar with the portion control containers, I, um, I have a blue one. Yeah. Hey, mommy, mommy. Mommy. I don't know where my blue one is, but there's a blue one mommy, for cheese. And so that way I'm not using too much cheese and that kind of really helps me portion control. Hey, mommy, I took my shirt off. Honey, please go put your shirt back on. <sighs> Okay, so I've got no. my, my eggs, my cheese, no. my sausage. I'm gonna put my sausage on top so it will melt it. Then I'm gonna put this on top. No. And now look. No, no. Like it's no. deliciousness. And I'd already made these before, these like little pancake. Uh, I honestly can eat them with peanut butter. I can eat them plain. They're so good. Um, and so I just mix them and there we go. I can eat one full one basically. You know, as a it's pretty filling, and then um, I usually kind of graze on the other one. Oh, that's your first time with cafe latte. Uh, so what I would recommend, um, you can do water. Um, you can do like a frozen banana with it as well. Um, there's you can add peanut butter. You can do cafe latte like half cafe latte, half chocolate. That's a great mixture. Um, you can do unsweetened almond milk. I have found that a lot of times um, that I, that the unsweetened almond milk ha adds more of like a creaminess to it, it um, if I'm not going to add a lot of other things to my shake. So if I'm just wanting to do like water and the Shakeology, I will do the unsweetened almond milk with the Shakeology um, and ice. But if I'm going to do like the peanut butter and the frozen banana and all this other stuff, a lot of times I'll just do the water because I feel like that like it's not needed. What's the pancake made of? Okay. So this is the cleanest part. Um, it's made out of carb quick. So for those who are very carb conscious, um, that are needing, um, healthier alternatives to eating bread, this is a great option. I got this off of Nutrition. Um, I just recently started using this, uh, within the last couple of weeks, um, to try it out. And I've tried a couple of recipes and so far I like it. Um, you need a good clean almond milk. Um, I'm trying to think. I don't know which brand offhand. I usually have to look at the, the boxes. A shot of caramel syrup. Yes, I love my syrups. And that makes my, um, hey Diane, that makes my, um, my sh you know, shakes like cleanish. 
but you know what? They're much healthier than just drinking a, a you know, a protein shake or um, something else that you could just walk in the store and buy. Also, like, what do you mix? If, if I'm just doing the water with Shakeology, I usually do like eight ounces of water or 10 ounces. Like, I use less if I'm just doing water. If I'm going to do the unsweetened almond milk and the frozen, like, fruit or whatever, then I can add a little bit more water. Is there a clean caramel syrup? Um, so, hold on. Let me finish with this, and then I'll get to the syrups. So, this is a healthier alternative. It does, um, it, it's, it's, excuse me. Can we use our manners, please? You should see this face. All right, Mommy will make you more eggs. I pick. Okay, she's already eaten today. Um, so, with... All right, let me figure out what I'm doing. All right. Mommy's making another egg. Um, so... Oh, uh, let's see. So the carb quick is a good option so far. Um, I usually make a shake out of almond butter, ice water, milk, banana protein. But if I don't protein, what would it be? Black milk. Um, I, yeah, I would do the Greek yogurt um, or like a, you know any type of yogurt base that you would like. Um, yes, Melissa. I'm car very carb sensitive Mama, too. Like so the, the carb. Oh, pl oh, please don't touch honey. That's hot. Okay. You want this egg? Yeah. She insisted getting. I don't know if y'all saw her behind me. Getting this egg out of here because she wants this egg and not this one. Okay, please don't touch. Please go get your shirt back on, okay? Get your shirt back on and mommy will give you an egg. Like seriously, give me a love or something. Like if you know what it's like to have a toddler because I love them though. Um, yes, if, I, if I'm just doing the Shakeology by itself, I usually do water. Or, I mean, unsweetened almond milk. If I do water, I do less water. I have found that, like, if I'm doing just water with Shakeology, like, if I'm on the rush, I might do 8 ounces of water. Whereas, like, I could do normally 10 to 12 ounces of unsweetened almond milk, if that makes sense. Look, Mommy. <laughs> That's not the right way. Yes, it is. I don't think so. It's backwards. Um, so, Look, syrups or caramel. Hold on. Sorry. Shasha, she, she hit me right the head. Oh, that's okay. She, Shasha hit me right the head. Oh, well, that wasn't very nice. Okay. Shasha, oh. There we go. All right, Mommy's cooking your egg. Okay, so, um, let's see. Yes, try it with the yogurt and see if you like it. Amber, also try to be good to talk Yes, and if you find that you ha are having issues, oh, sorry, with the regular Shakeology, try the vegans. Um, they are a little, usually more sensitive, or less sensitive on your tummy, um, or more sensitive. I actually love the cafe latte. Um, so I would definitely go to Pinterest, try out some different recipes. Um, okay, so for your syrups. Now, for the syrups, you all know, oh, if you don't know, I use a lot of these Torani sugar-free syrups. You can get these from Netrition, and these are what I use a lot. Like if um, I have my Shakeologies, or if I make some uh, different types of desserts, I've got English toffee, I've got pumpkin pie, or pumpkin pie, hazelnut, mango, watermelon. I even have some like uh, peach, triple sec. Like I've got all sorts of things. Um, and then, so the, I guess a cleaner option if you're not wanting an uns, um, artificial sweetener in there. You can get these. Now, these are imitation. Um, you can get these little imitation caramel extracts. Um, and you can, there's recipes on the back for caramel popcorn, um, caramel apple dip. Um, so basically, it's got propylene gly glycol, artificial flavor, contains alcohol, water, caramel color, contains sulfites. So it's not clean, but if you're not wanting artificial sweetener, this is what you might want to get. Um, they have lots of flavors. Hey, Kelly. <laughs> yeah, I do, Diane. Like, seriously. Um, I need to find a good recipe to try it with. Uh, um, but, yeah, I've got all sorts of them. And actually, I believe I'm out of the unsweetened um, car or the, the salted caramel right now. 
Um, but these might be some good options. I've got several of them. I've got a rum one. I've got maybe these. I've got coconut. So these are um all oh my gosh, I have more than one. I, I had almond. So if you're wanting to mix up different things, let me see. Oh, I've got more. Oh my goodness. I've got a butter. Got orange and raspberry. I believe that's all that I have. So basically, these are different extracts that you can use um, if you're not wanting unsweetener or uh, the artificial sweetener. So there's lots of different options you can get. That's Watkins brand. I got those, I believe, at Walmart or Kroger. Um, let me put those back. All right, um, let's see. Uh, yeah, I do like to blend. And, hey, Angela, and I've actually, we've had conversations with some of my um, other coaches that depending on your blender, it can change the consistency and the flavor of your taste. Kid you not. You can make um, the your shake, same ingredient, same amount of stuff, but if you mix it in different shakes, it can taste different. And I think some of it's the texture. I think some of it's maybe the way the ingredients are infused with one another. I don't know how it works, but we talked about that. And some people prefer their shakes made in a cheaper blender. Some people like their shakes made in a more expensive blender, like a Vitamix or like, you know, one of the fancier Nutribullets or something. Um, so definitely, um, if you don't like it, I wouldn't completely knock it uh, if you have a cheap blender. I would maybe, if it's something that you want to invest in, I would look into getting in a, a nicer blender. Um, so what I would do is, if, if you do typically like Shakeology um, and you're not liking a certain flavor, go to Pinterest. That is my number one thing. This is not like um, just mix with water and have to deal with it. No. Like, nutrition doesn't have to be something that you don't like. Yes, this is fuel for your body, but guess what? The Lord made us with taste buds, am I right? And so I think they're made, they're there for a reason. And so why not enjoy our food, you know? And so if we can play around with different recipes, depending on what your dietary needs are, your nutrition needs or meal plan, you can add things to it. You can take away things from it and it's okay. Like you make it your own. If you, you know, if you have time to blend and to add peanut butter or exotic juices or fruits or whatever you want to do with it, then go for it. There's no, I mean, there's no reason why you Mom, shouldn't. I make you dozer. No, we're not going to brush dozer. Where's your shirt, honey? I just put it back on you. And she's shirtless again. Um, and yes, I, the first year or so, I, um, have like a cheap blender. It's like a $15 blender, like a Hamilton Beach or something or off brand that was great for the first year. And the only reason that we ended up getting a Nutribullet was because my husband kept using my blender and the cup, we only had one cup for it. And the cup was always dirty. And I was like, all right, I'm getting a new blender because we drink shakes every day. And so we got a blender with multiple cups. Um, yeah, and you know, everybody, hey Jessica, everybody will have different taste buds and flavors, so I definitely, you know, recommend you to try out different ones, um, you know, because I am not a fan of all of them. I, I can drink all of them, depending on how I mix them. Um, let me cut this up. So, like, you know, even like the green berry, either you love it or you hate it, and with the green berry, if I add fruit or peanut butter or syrups, let me tell you, you can add these syrups to anything and they'll taste like gold. But, you know, some people are trying to stay away from the artificial sweeteners. And now I'm rambling. Yes, Amy, you know, and it's just playing around with it. And the thing is, you know, you can easily go and grab like a cheap protein drink and kind of deal with it and it will be a filler for you. But what nutrition are you getting out of it? Seriously, like I've had people will say, Oh, can you compare, can you tell me what are your thoughts on this protein drink or this protein drink? And I'm not a professional, guys. I just, I'm just a, a normal person, just like you, who has an interest in being a, a, a healthier. And, and you know, when I compare it, it's just like, there's really no comparison. Like, yeah, it has protein in it, but there's really no nutrition in it. Like, yeah, it may be like 
two net carbs or no carbs, but where's the nutrition? What are you wanting to get out of your shake? If you're just wanting protein, then sure, fine, you know, drink it. But if you're actually wanting to go ahead and get your nutrition in because you know that in the end it's going to improve your health, then Shakeology is the way to go. It's an investment in your health. You can't afford not to because if you don't, think about what your medical bills can be down the road. Like seriously, our healthcare system is just, I'm not going to go on that tangent. Anyways. You know, I never tried the chocolate syrup with the vegan strawberry. Um, the vegan tropical strawberry is actually my husband's favorite. He is not a chocolate person. So, I just threw like eggs on the floor. My dogs will eat it. Um, let me turn this off. Alright, so my child has been missing for a little bit. Okay, there you go. Go sit down, please. Where's me out? A little bit of use. Yeah, and you know, it's just something, it's just a little bit to add the extra little mm to it. Um, you can even add like vanilla to it. Um, there's all sorts of things that you can do. And I've actually added, um, like with some of the recipes, like a half of a Quest bar in there with cookies and cream. Amazing. What, honey? And so let me, I cannot ever talk about Shakeology and not I'm talk not about like my favorite cookie, recipe. Mommy. No, we're not going to have a cookie right now. Go eat your eggs, okay? It's my favorite recipe and I usually always have it in my fridge and let me grab it out. Raylan, no, we're not touching more eggs. You have eggs on the table. Please go eat your eggs. It's on your chair. Oh, it's on your chair, okay. So... <sighs> I usually always have this on hand, and it's my shake o fudge. And um, this is kind of like the Reese uh, recipe. It's basically um, the organic coconut oil, Shakeology, and peanut butter. That's it, and it is the bomb. So anytime that like um, we have uh, cookies in the house or like any like anything that's sweet, I can always make this, and it's totally guilt free. And um. I don't usually eat the whole serving um, at one time, but it, like you can see, I just kind of scrape it. So I'll just go in there and I'll just scrape a little bite, put it back in my fridge, and I'm good to go. And I can eat on this all day long. No guilt at all. Oh, I've not tried it with uh, banana and peanut butter. Now, I've tried like the chocolate with um, grapes and peanut butter. I have tried the vanilla with grapes and peanut butter to make those. But I've not tried it with the vegan strawberry. I'll have to try that, Haley. That sounds really good. Um, so this is actually my favorite recipe, and it's been the one that's helped to keep me on track with my nutrition more than anything. Um, oh, I think somebody's getting in trouble. So what I do again with this, um, basically I um, use like a tablespoon or two I usually do a little extra coconut oil, we'll just be honest, like two tablespoons of coconut oil because coconut oil is good for you, right? And I'm not going to eat it, I don't usually eat it all in one sitting. Um, it's very filling. The, the fat in the coconut oil is satiating. Satiating, is that the right word? So it's, and it's good for you, so it's a good fat. So I use that, one scoop of Shakeology. So basically I'll take the coconut oil, put it in here, warm it up to where it's liquid. Then I'll add a scoop of uh, chocolate Shakeology. You can do vegan if you want. You can do cafe latte if you want. Do whatever flavor you want or the vanilla. Mix it up to where you can, and then you can just leave it like that. You can put it in a pan and cut it up in like little squares like fudge if you want to. Do it however you want. Or you can be crazy and add peanut butter or syrups or um, I've added uh, the organic un uh, shredded coconut flakes. You can add whatever you want to it. So with this one in particular for the Reese one, um, I usually add like a two tablespoons of uh, peanut butter because that's the serving. Um, and so it's and if you use like the natural peanut butter, you're not gonna have the added sugar and it's a completely clean recipe. Um, but you can totally add whatever you want to it to make it your own. I've added a salted caramel in here before. Um, but my, my basic go-to is the coconut oil. Shakeology and the re the um, peanut butter, so good. And like I said, I've added coconut flakes to it before. I've added syrups to it. Pretzels. Oh, you got a pretzel? Yeah. Yay! 
You could probably add pretzels to it, like if you want a little bit of that sweet and salty. Um, and if you just add a little bit and you're just eating a little bit at a time, you're going to be able to get that, that flavor in your mouth without completely indulging in like a whole bowl of cookies or a whole bowl of candy, all right? So that's my favorite recipe. It's not even a shake. <laughs> and so that's why I think I, I'm kind of like, ah, don't be turned off by Shakeology because of the name. There's so many possibilities. Um, the shake, their shake balls that I've made before, which are phenomenal. Um, you can make pies out of it. You can, make, I've made a mug cake before. Oh my gosh. Amazing. So there are lots of things. So I'm going to hop off here. I'm going to eat my food cause it's cold now and, um, get started for my day, checking my challenge groups and, um, with my coaches. So I'm super excited. If you are wanting to be, um, healthier, if you don't know where to start or if you're already on your journey and you need a community of people who support you and who believe in you and who are willing to um, walk with you in your journey, let me know. I'm here to support you. My, my goal is to help other people reach their health and fitness goals, whatever they may be. And so I get satisfaction out of that. And you know, yes, I do have a business that, you know, that is thriving because there's so many women who are um, just inspiring and empowering other women to do the same thing that I'm doing. Um, so if you want to be a part of that community, let me know. Send me a message, comment below, even if you have no clue what it consists of, even if you have no clue what you're even getting yourself into, that's totally fine. I can talk to you. Uh, we can chat and sit down and get to know each other and figure out what your goals are and how I can help you reach those goals. So let me know if you're interested and um, I hope you have a great day. Rock um, whatever workout you're doing. Dial in your nutrition and t trust me, trust the process. Even if you're going slow, you're still lapping everybody on the couch. So I want you to go for it, ladies. And yeah, I want you to have a great day. Bye.